Hey guys, how's it going? Altus Tech here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial and today I'm going to be bringing you an effect that I have been using personally quite a bit uh, which is an origami styled effect and I call it that because well it looks like origami. Um, it's an extremely easy effect to achieve, all you need is a little bit of knowledge which you should be gaining in this video. Uh, and yeah, it's really, really easy to do, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I have opened up a blank document here. Uh, my document is 1000 by 700 pixels, but you can make yours whatever you wish. It'll work in any format or size. And all we're going to do here to start out is we're going to go ahead and create a new layer by going to Layer, New Layer. Okay, and uh, for this effect you can either use the Polygon Lasso tool or the pen tool. Uh, we're going to use the polygon lasso tool in this tutorial. Uh, but yeah, you can use either or. Both will work just as well. We're going to go ahead and select the polygon lasso tool here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to create a shape. Just a random triangular rectangular styled shape. Just like so. Okay, that's fine. And what you want to have is a color selected on your background color because that's what we're going to be using. And we're going to go ahead and fill this shape with our background color by clicking Control Delete, which is going to fill it. And then we're going to go ahead and press Control D, which will deselect the shape here. Perfect. Okay, now what you no, uh, bleh. okay, now what we're going to go ahead and do next is we're going to go ahead and create a second layer here for our second shape. We're going to make that underneath our first shape, so we're going to make the new layer underneath as well. We're going to go ahead and create this new layer here, perfect. And what you want to do with when creating the second shape is make sure that you're picturing how it would work in real life, so how folding paper would work and you know once you do that you should have a pretty good idea of how your next shape should work because uh, if you don't do that it's gonna look kinda weird. Um, anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and create our new our second shape here using the polygon lasso tool, so I'm gonna make mine going straight down and then I'm gonna connect these as best as I can. You want to connect the edges perfectly, otherwise it's not really going to look that great. Perfect. Go ahead and fill this, Control D, delete, and deselect that with Control D. Okay, and we might have to touch this up again, so we're going to go ahead and zoom in here, and we can easily just move that to the side a bit. Perfect. Go ahead and zoom out again. And here is the second part, the second main part of this effect, which is going out and getting the burn tool, this tool right here, the decrepit hand icon. And all we're going to do is we're just going to lightly go underneath here, creating a shadow kind of effect here. Just like that. Really, really easy to do. And here we have the starting of our shape here. Next, we're going to go ahead and create our third shape. Again, we're going to make a new layer underneath the last layer we created. Okay. And I think this is going to be the last shape in our origami effect here. So we're going to go ahead and select the polygon lasso tool one more time. I'm going to end this in sort of a pin shape. Again, connecting these as well as I can. Okay, perfect. Connecting these up. Fill this up with Control Delete. Deselect. Lined up perfectly. We're going to go ahead and grab the Burn tool. And again, we're just going to add a little bit of shadow underneath here just to give it that layered effect. Perfect. Okay, and as you can see, you get this cool origami styled effect. And again, you can use this for pretty much anything the logos, uh, you know, font. You can create really really cool stuff and just as an example here I uh, made this kind of a cool little art thing I typed out Altus uh, in origami and you know this only took me about 10 minutes just just to prove you know how easy this effect really is to achieve and how good it can turn out um, and uh, yeah guys that's pretty much it uh, please make sure to comment rate favorite and subscribe especially if you enjoyed this video which I hope you did also check out my channel for more tutorials such as this one as well as tech related content and awesome stuff like that. Thank you guys for watching as always and stay tuned for more.